Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emma. For today's video, I just want to talk about some tips for spring skincare. There are many things I want to talk about. I hope it's gonna be helpful for you because my skin gets a lot better compared to my previous skin and it's a transition season from winter to spring so I feel like we need some extra care for our skin. So if you're looking for some skincare tips and kind of switch your skincare routine a little bit in spring you are in the right spot anyway without much further ado let's get right into it so first and foremost i really really want to emphasize the importance of moisturizing i think it's not just my case although it's spring it's still cold and still windy so our skin tends to get drier so i feel like moisturizing is the most important thing but we don't need that much heaviness and richness into our skin compared to winter because it's less drier so this is i'm using this cream this cream i introduced this one before pant the recipe from peslo the reason why i like this cream is it's really mild but it does its job very well i mean moisturizing it has the ingredient panthenol which is really good for building our skin cell and moisturizing so that's the reason why i love it it doesn't have that much heavy fragrance so i like it you can see it's the texture there you go i mean i want to be light in spring compared to the winter so i prefer to have lighter cream compared to those i used in winter so i really like it it's very light but very moisturizing so i want to recommend you get uh, this type of cream not that much heavy and oily so you can moisturize but you can also be light and gentle to your skin and it also related to moisturizing facial spray we call it mist i also use another mist i'm going to bring it later because i'm late i want to talk about first i forgot to bring that i use this one at home because it's big and huge so you know i use mist all the time especially i also like to put that on top of my makeup because my skin tends to look really dry and i checked my previous video i was so surprised i looked so dry in terms of my skin because i didn't spray the mist over my makeup so i did today and also put some highlighter here and there so i look more glowy yeah so you don't need a, like extra what else facial makeup mist i don't know how to call that you can just use the mist and my tip is that like you can spray the mist over your makeup and you can also use sponge and you can also like tap that on your face your skin is gonna observe the water yeah so uh, i really, really like it it doesn't have that much like any ingredients excepting i think water i'm not sure it's just water mineral water but i also got another mist that has like more active ingredient which is called propolis i'm going to bring that i brought it it comes from c what else is from cmp no it's from chime parks which is called cmp <laughs> cosmetics is a korean brand it has an active ingredient propolis so it's worse like an ampule you can see yeah you can smell like propolis i don't know it's like a bit honey because I know that propolis comes from the hive of bees so oh yeah you can also put this one over your makeup and before makeup so yeah I really like it I prefer to use this one than this but it doesn't have that much product it's just like 100 milliliter and 300 milliliter so I tried to use this one instead of this to keep to save more product but this price is similar so yeah and i also want to introduce this toner pad it's also for moisturizing i can also use this one to exfoliate my skin i think that's also really important remove dead cells and for growth your cells yeah i used it literally all the items i'm showing you guys i used it i generally used it every day for me skincare is very important it comes from the brand raw quest is for sensitive and dry skin which i have it has like very wordy type of product inside of it and the pad is big compared to other products and it has like two slides one is for exfoliate so 
I use this one whenever I want to exfoliate. I usually exfoliate every single day and night because I feel like these are very mild and gentle. So that doesn't gonna make my skin that much dry, although I exfoliate every day. I also use the other side, give my skin some moisturizing effect. So yeah, you can use this one, that kind of purpose. And I also use this one to kind of remove my makeup right after getting home. So yeah, I just don't want to buy pet type of makeup remover so i just use this one for those kind of purpose for me the the meat of skincare is sunscreen so i want to introduce this product coming light sunscreen there you go it comes from the brand another schedule is my second bottle i went through the first one very quickly like three or two weeks is 30 milliliter is a smaller one it also has the bigger one i used that one the bigger one very quickly so i was kind of a bit frustrated with myself why i used that up so quick anyway it's a renewal version so i want to try it's the same it's very very moisturizing the texture wise so i really like it because some screens also kind of make my skin dry and sometimes foundation doesn't work really well on that kind of sunscreen does that make sense they kind of make some spots so my skin looks weird and i feel dry so i really don't like that i think it's a chemical type of sunscreen but it's like a gel type of sun essence i really like it the gel type of essence the texture wise it has mild formula and lightweight and moisturizing spf is 50 so very light and it's very moisturizing almost like a cream and it has like a very mild like fragrance i love it like this sunscreen is so good but i hope it's a bit bigger like 30 milliliters so i can use it just in a week because <laughs> i use sunscreen all the time whenever i just go outside sunscreen is very important although i like to get fake tent i don't like get tent like under the real sun because that's gonna not really good for my skin's health <laughs> yeah so it's like one of my best items till now this year but i feel like there are many items i will try this year i'm very happy about that yeah so definitely get a nice moisturizing sunscreen you know and the last thing i want to share is this ointment these are for some trouble spots rarely got this this acne um i don't know i think i'm pretty doing well for my skin but sometimes i get usually i get like pimples near my nose area and my mouth but this is a really good but whenever i get some troubles there you know i use this ointment i used a lot you can see right i use this one a lot this is from the brand skin 79 a korean skincare brand and the name of this product is dental lasco ointment there you go so it's really good for like healing your acne spot and also really good for soothing the trouble areas whenever i have like disgusting pimples on my face i just use this one at night try to sleep well <laughs> and sleep well wake up yeah you know the acne gets better it's gonna prevent those kind of trouble spots from getting worse yeah so i think you can get this kind of ointment in case of you're getting some troubles especially this transition season is gonna be a bit challenging season for our skin so maybe you need this kind of ointment for your trouble spots yeah so these are some tips and items i like to use for my skincare especially in spring I hope you guys like it especially i feel like using sunscreen often and moisturizing is the most important thing in skincare wise but also our lifestyle and our mindset is also very important drink more water try to have better sleep better feeling you know those kind of things are also helpful for you have a nice and better skin in spring anyway thanks for watching it if you guys are new i'm emma i create fashion video lifestyle and fitness related video every week so don't forget to subscribe my channel follow me on instagram and hit the notification bell if you haven't yet 
and please comment down below what kinds of videos you want to see from me and from my channel that's gonna be really helpful for me to figure out what kinds of videos i will make thanks for watching again and i hope you have a beautiful wonderful great day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys